kids get in and what do they try to do? Get big. Get big EVs, right? And people ask me, like, I don't care about exit velocity. It doesn't matter to me. And people are like, oh, you're a dinosaur. Okay. You know. And launch angle is not something I create artificially like this. And we don't hit the ball in the cage. You know. Launch angle is a matter of where contact is made in the plane of the pitch. Some are going to be ground balls. Some are going to be shoot the grass. You know? Some are going to be line drives. Some are going to be doubles, fly balls. There's going to be any amount of contacts in that zone can be calculated. And what people forget, it's also a compound angle. It's not just a straight angle. Because particularly at the highest level of this game, I'm never going to be perfect in that line. Minor deviations, and I'm going to be a little bit off angle. But the idea is, follow the idea, I'm going to stay in that line. So again, remember, balls come off the bat there. This is a different angle than this. So when we talk about exit velocity, that means I just scored the ball up. Okay? And in a practice environment, if I score the ball up, that's what I'm trying to do. But the problem I see, and this is how I visually see things when I critique a swing first, is after a hitter first makes contact, I want to see the bat continue in that line. And I know we're in trouble when I see a hitter hit the ball and immediately start going off plane. <coughs> I'm not going to tell you it's not occasionally going to happen in a game. Look, you know, we've got microseconds, we get to a position and we're going to have to, have to afford contact. But the idea is once I start coming off plane, I know I've got a problem because that is not going to translate successfully to consistency in a game. How many kids do you see getting that exit velocity, swinging out of their backsides, trying to get higher exit velocity in a practice environment? Okay? For the record, I will say it many times this weekend, I laugh when I watch people quantify some player putting a tee up and quantify it with either a bat sensor or a hit tracks <laughs> or a tracking system and quantify how hard you can hit that ball off the tee and, and get exit velocity and somehow say, that's a good thing. They've been doing that at combines. And I'm not just saying, you guys have seen it. I know you've seen it. But these are, you know, pro combines. And they'll tell the kid, hey, uh, Make sure you hit a ball down at the corner end of the cage. That gets you your highest exit velocity. All right? Cheat to get a higher exit velocity, but what kind of swing was it? Man, go ahead, send as many kids as you can who hit 100 miles an hour off the tee. It's ridiculous. And there are people, once again, data. I'm not against data. But you've got to understand, data by itself really doesn't mean anything. Or data taken out of actual context. Personally, I, I do like to see the data, what's going on in, a, in the result of a game, what we have there. But we can't practice that. Show me one kid that can actually hit 22.5 degrees launch angle with every swing in a game situation, and I'll tell you that kid doesn't exist. But people think that I'm going to get a point here, and I'm going to unleash in that point, create my launch angle and a lot of exit velocity. It's not going to happen. 